welcome to HTML4 series and this is part 34 let's take a tour to coffee cup so I'm gonna open up coffee cup free HTML editor I'm going to close this I'm gonna start up with new website project because we want to create a simple website so I'll call this website as simple website I'll be locating this uh, location at the desktop for a demo and I'll make a folder called as simple okay so that's done I'll hit ok and ok now uh, let's talk about the features what the coffee cup has so I'll talk about the separation project separation so what I'm doing over here is if I minimize all I can see is something like this okay now what I want is right click I'll explain you why I want I'll say pages this is a place where all my pages will stay then this is the place where my all images will reside then this is a place if I have any scripts JavaScripts that will reside within that and this will be my styles folder where I like to keep my styles and this is my page okay so now I'll create a new HTML page the moment I hit the HTML page it gives me a default markup where I can see I have something and then it tells me where do you want to save it so I say I want to save it in here and I'll call this page as index.html <coughs> and this is saved now next I will start with you know the intelligence part but you got the idea right I'm trying to separate everything you know uh, in a separate folders and everything so everything will be clean so if I uh, come anytime and if I try to see I know all my HTML pages are residing in this so this is pretty cool all script styles they have their own folder so again that's fine okay so that separation is good next is uh, intelligence the moment I open my tag gives me all right what do you want so I'll start with p tag I'll say style is equal to border and you can notice it is giving me enter lessons and which is a bit nice okay and I'll say this is a p tag okay so let's save it and once this is saved then you can verify a split screen preview which is available under view so whatever you're creating at the very same time you can see the difference if I save I see the changes next is an amazing tool what we have over here is called as a local preview I have configured the three browsers over here uh, with the system which says test with the default browser which is a Firefox in my case so you can see the URL within simple I got pages and within that index and this is working fine okay so if I come here and I change it as red you can see the changes applied here and if I refresh the page over here it will go as red so this is good right now not only that I can uh, check the same with Chrome the Chrome has fired up so Chrome will show me the same changes and it is going to take a while but it showed up right so that's pretty good and if you want to configure you know additional browser so again I'm going to configure you know quickly uh, the Chrome because that's what I have right now so it's Google where's Google Google within that I have Chrome I got application chrome.exe and that's it so over here you can see I have configured the additional browser I mean it's the same but you got the idea right you can configure the other browsers as well <coughs> now this is done I don't need uh, the view split screen okay so that's fine next important thing is uh, so we have covered project separation uh, different browser testing why I'm recommending this because whenever we create a content sometimes it happens like you know it is working fine in Firefox it's not working in Chrome or IE for some reasons so this feature actually helps if this is approved then you are very sure that whatever you're creating it will be it will stay same across all the browsers and that's what our client wants most of the time right next is uh, what we have is the code separation when I say code separation you can see over here we got the HTML okay then HTML 4.1 
okay we have all the different version whichever you want to choose you can choose uh, uh, right now we are dealing with HTML4 so I'll be using all the HTML tags which are given over here and it's a bit nice to have these tags around here because the moment I expand I get to see all the attributes what is linked with this so this is pretty cool huh and the same and the same thing goes with the CSS over here you can see we have CSS 2.1 over here you have the latest CSS so you can apply the CSS accordingly and you can test the changes in the browsers if they all work fine then you can promote those changes right so this is so this is the end of this tour and from the next video we will start working on the website alright so if this video helps you in some way then please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and thank you for watching this video good night and take care